what is going on guys so today we're going to play some ed some boxing in street fighter for the first time street fighter 6 for the first time and my first time boxing in a street fighter game right so this is gonna be fun we're gonna take a look at his moves real quick some just a few things to 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 note uh with the character uh and then we're gonna jump into playing some ranked matches as i like to dive right into that stuff even if i'm not ready uh i like to get the feel for the 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 how a fight works just training in in a in a training room with a you know or even playing the computer is not the same because the cycle logical elements of baiting and, and tricking and all that stuff is not really there with the cpu as it is with when you fight a real person so i don't care if i'm you know not master immediately um, the only thing i care about is building that timing and rhythm of combat uh when i'm going against real players so we're gonna go into the training room just to talk about a few of his features and then we're gonna go into in, into the rank matches all right guys so ed is finally in the game we finally have a boxer in street fighter 6. now a few things we're gonna go ahead and play with him of course um it's always tough switching a character or switching to a new character because your muscle memory is all tied to your previous character which is rashid who will obviously just be my secondary character as i lab uh ed but uh he has a few things that we i like how he has that philly shell animation right there he has a few things that are uh pretty good um but then there's also a few things where it's like okay it, it's not 100 percent like boxing but there are boxing elements to it it's not more boxing intuitive as tekken is for example his fastest attack are these attacks here this uppercut Right, these are all his fastest attacks. They're four frames, as you see down there. It says four frame startup, and then he has jabs like this, but it's a six frame startup. Right, he flicks that one's ten frames. This was six frames. This one's five frames. Right, so you know, an uppercut, you know, is the fastest punch he could throw. It's not necessarily a boxing thing, although because the flicker hits so far. His jab at least can keep you at a specific distance. And it's actually better to poke with these uh, kick buttons that throw these jabs as opposed to poking with, with your actual, you know, jabs and stuff like that, right? So it's like, the cool thing though about, about Ed is that all of his attacks are kind of, all of his like jab attacks are kind of, or not jab, but his you know his bot his his square attacks i can't say box because people were like hey what are you talking about box what's a box square i guess i guess nobody in the fgc says box but all of his square attacks are relatively safe for example if i put my opponent to block all he's just minus one in everything right unless i whiff then he's minus 10 or 19 if i keep whiffing yeah, minus 10 right there. Right there. All right, so it's all plus. He's also four-frame startup for both upstairs and downstairs, which is kind of versatile because on wake-up, you might be crouching and you can still hit your opponent first if they do anything other than, you know, a jab um, or their square attack. Or if you're standing, you could hit them. So that like you have the versatility of being crouching and still getting them, um, and then also standing. So I think that's really really cool. One thing that he does lack though is he doesn't have a standing overhead attack. Like Rashi could jump and spin around and hit you with his elbow, and and uh, Chung Lee could do that that side thing that she does when she hits you over the head, you know, uh, Guile hits you over the head with a punch, so does Ryu, right? So he doesn't have that. And I think the reason he doesn't have that is because they've given him this, and this is plus four. And you can actually do nasty loops right here with that. They get up, you grab them. Again, get up, you grab them. Again, get up, you grab him. Again. So you can do that forever 
And anything they do because you're so far away is safe. So if he does a DP, like if he does like a dragon, uh, you know, an uppercut or an invisible attack, I'm too far away for it to hit me. So I could go like this. I go like this and, and still, you know, grab him or shoot it and nothing would happen to me, right? It won't do anything to, to there's no uh, attack properties on here. Like there's no hitbox on that string. So there's that. And then the only way to stop it really is to parry. Uh, but we could bait it out because I could still do this and come in and then do it like that if I want to. So if I'm predicting that I've done this too many times and you finally parry because the parry will only pull you halfway. I could just, you know, cancel and go into you. Or I could cancel and go out and do something else, right? And, and set you up for something like this, right? So anyways, there's that, which is which is good. And I think that that's the reason why, you know, he has the safe attacks here. And he has the four frame down here, four frame up here. And because he has that, they don't want to give him an overhead, standing overhead. The only other overheads he has is this one. Also, not much plus on block moves other than this one and his overhead attacks here. These are plus. Um, I think the, like, all the overhead attacks are, are plus. The overhead jumping attacks. But other than that, he is not plus on block. And you want plus on block stuff because that creates uh, constant pressure. I do like that this attack right here, though, this attack is relatively safe. The only thing they can hit you with is a jab, and it has to be immediate because they have one frame to hit you with that jab. Minus four. They have one. They have literally one frame to hit you with that jab. So I, I, I tend to find that most people get really hit, get hit by this, or don't know how to deal with it because they don't hit you with anything back, even if they blocked it. Because you could, you really get back into safety quickly. Only, only minus five. So I like that. I like that. And it's like a pretty decent attack. His damage is not too crazy in the game. But I love his movement. I think, I might be wrong, but I think he has the fastest walk speed in the game. I think he has the fastest walk speed in the game, which is really, really good. And, of course, he has the coming in, you know, you just come in like that. You could come in with an attack. You could delay it and have an even bigger attack. Or you could come in, come out. I mean, if you don't come in with an attack, it's going to be dangerous, though. Because you're going to be vulnerable for a few seconds. If you notice right there, those seconds right there, he's doing that. You're not, you're vulnerable. But overall, I enjoy the character. His animations are really good. He does have block. Um, uh, he has boxing elements to it. So, like for example, if you poke, if you don't land nothing, it just does this. But if you poke it and you actually land it, you could keep doubling it up, tripling it up right there, and he moves in, so he gets close. It is, it's a way to get you in close, and you kind of want to get close, so you could do these kind of attacks here and stuff like that. So it's kind of uh, it's kind of cool. He also has this attack. Now, you know, I had to laugh to figure out the optimal times to use it, but I think one of the best ways to use it is behind this. So you throw a slow one. They have to worry about they have to worry about this, and then you could charge it up and boom. And it keeps them from jumping. Because if they jump too early to avoid this one, then they're going to get hit with this one on land. And if they... So, basically, this is a way to kind of trap them. And if you charge it all the way... Oh, my fault. That's also a plus on block move. If, that's the other plus on block move. If you charge it all the way, it's plus on block. So, I, I kind of tend to do this. Charge it all the way. Boom. And then I, I get them. And I'm plus... I'm plus four which means i could go in for start jabbing right i could start jabbing after i throw that and they're gonna get hit they're gonna get hit uh so that that's a really good thing and i oh, actually i could grab i could also grab <clears throat> as well so there's a mix up there uh so yeah all, overall i like him his combos are crazy i've been seeing crazy combos but um, overall, I like them. These are the Javante Tank Davis colors, by the way. They, they they legit have the same color scheme that he had when he fought Ryan Garcia, which I think is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, let's go ahead and do some uh, some matches with, with Ed. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. All right, come on. 
Come on. Nope. Get away from that. Throw this. Now I love that. I can punch just like that. I can punch your your fireball. Next. Take your time. There we go. There we go. Ah ah. Ooh. Caught that. Ah ah. No, buddy. Wow. I just corner switched. But made him land on that, so it's all good. Ooh, psycho knuckle. Let's go, baby. Ooh ooh. Ah ah. Go low. I like his the fact that all almost all his square punches are quick, man. Parry that, parry that. Ooh, try to get him with parry that. Go low. Bang! Uh, uh, oh, good job. Ah, oh, man, I got to get him with the anti-air. Here we go. We got him. Huh. Sit, sit. Sit, sit. Let's go. Ooh, damn, didn't capitalize on that. Little string. The only problem is I got to anticipate that they're not going to block sometimes. Beautiful. Sit. Nice. Oh, oh. He's doing his thing. Caught that. Perfect parry. Get in the corner. Get in the corner. Come on. Get in the corner. Oh. All right. Ah, go low. Mm, upstairs. Ah, low. I got to remember that. I'm in gold right now. Trying to bring Ed up. The, yeah, they go for drive impacts just like that. I'm getting punished. Uh, let's go low. Ooh, beautiful. Mm. Huh, huh. Ah, I could have capitalized. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Nope. Come on. Yeah, I baited that out, baby. Baited that out, baby. Yeah. MMA fighter versus boxer. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Ooh, good job. Sit, 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 sit. Nope, nope. Ha, ha. Come on. Ha, sit, sit. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, no. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We got this. Oh. Go low. Go low again. Block that. Philly shell clean. Ha. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, ooh. Ooh, I should have just went for the regular one. Oh, nope. Let's go. Take that. Psycho knuckle. Let's go. Ah, ah. Ah. Ooh, checked it. Clean. Nope. Nope. Ah, ah. Come on. Come on. Ooh, predicted the jump. Nope. Got him. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Come on. Nope. Got him. Check it. I'm checking that like crazy. Sit, sit. Nope. Ah. Come on. Mm -mm. Ah. Ah. Mm -hmm. ah. Yikes. Come on. Got him. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Ah, oh, man. Let's throw that out. Push him. Keep using it. Keep using it. Got him all the way to the corner with that bad boy. Got to bait him out a little bit. Ah! Oh, nope. Switch. Switch size. Ha, ha, ha. Let's go. Oh, oh, caught him right at the last second. Got the parry in. Come on. Ah! He tried to jump it. Boxer versus boxer. Let's go. Psycho knuckle. Come on. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. 
Come on. Got him. Let's go. Move up. Ah, ah, this starts the screen. Oh, I messed it up. Move back, move back. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, you gonna get it? No. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, chill. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that was for nothing. And now he's throwing his. Dang. Come on. Nope. You just put yourself in the corner. Ah, 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 ah. Sit, sit. Let's go. Let's go. Caught that. There you go. Cycle knuckle. Ah, ah. Oh, you lucky. Got him. Checked him. Clean. Ooh. Nope. Ah. Ah, ah, oh, what the? Oh, man. I gotta get my timing down. I'll get it. It's like learning an instru new instrument. Just trying to get all of his attacks down. No, no, oh, get off me. Come on. There we go. What? Yeah, you dying. You dying. You're gonna die anyways. Ken, seven win streak. Okay. I see you. Come on. Ha ha. Come on. Sit, sit, sit. Come on. Ah. Uh, no. Ooh, that was a bad mistake. Move in. Ooh. Oh, good job. Ah. I was anticipating that too, but. Come on. No, no. Go low. No. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Ah. This, uh, these drive impacts is cr oh my gosh this is crazy man these people down here really drive impact in like every every five punches ah 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 that step back though clean to get him to get him on the setup oh get in the corner Nope, I know you're gonna jump, man. I saw you jump last time. Huh, 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 huh. There we go. Now we got you. Ah, uh, try to bait him. Ah, come on. No, come on. Oh, that bad mistake. Sit, sit it. Oh, oh, bad mistake. Sit, sit. Come on. Nope. Ah, 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 ah. Come on. Get that out of here. Let's go. Get that out of here. Ah, caught that clean. Oh, <laughs> we just predicted everything. Let it up. Nope. Ah, get off me. Ah. Ah, good job. Finally. You must have been frustrated there. Oh, knew the drop in back was coming. Had my eye peeled for that. Ah, come on. Sit, sit it. Come on. Nope. Ah, this punishes that spin kick thing. That's crazy. Come on. No, Psycho Knuckle. Let's go. All right, guys. There you have it. This was the first Ed uh, video. Let me know if you want to see more Ed. I'm having fun with him. Although he is really good, great combinations, great animations. He's technically the exact type of boxer I would have wanted. Uh, you know, he has the Philly shell. He does flicker jabs and stuff. That's literally the type of boxer I would like uh, to use in these fighting games. As for example, Bullrog looks more like a Mike Tyson aggressive fighter. Um, that's not the type of, you know, like fighters that I like, boxers that I like. I like the more, you know, tactical boxers in, in the sense where they're, they're off the back foot as opposed to being on the front foot. Um, but, you know, I'm still having a blast. Now, as I mentioned earlier, he's not as boxer intuitive as uh, um as steve fox's as steve fox is way more you know his jab is his fastest punch so that lends to creating things off of the jab they're sidestepping in the uh, in in tekken so that that also has an element there plus he has basically all of the traits he's every boxer in one so you get to play around with 
peekaboo and you know flicker and all that stuff but ed is still really fun and i am going to main him as hard as that is um i have to reconstruct my brain for ed as my brain was literally completely tailored made for rashid but i am having a blast and he has a lot of unique stuff like his level two uh, so i do want to i do want to learn him plus he looks super cool man he has gloves he's a boxer he he has that style that i like it's it's everything that i could ask for in his uh in in the way of his boxing ethos anyways let me know down in the comment section below if you want more of these videos from street fighter of course we're going to continue the videos with tekken as well but let me know do you want me to have tekken videos and street fighter videos and tekken videos and street fighter videos let me know down in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And I'll see you in the next one.